Parashat Shemini, we're up to Aliyah to Revi'i. It's brought down that there's a halakha of Onen. Did you ever hear of what Onen is? There's an Abel and there's Onen. The difference is, is Onen is a person who's one of his seven close relatives passed away and they did not bury him. They did not bury him yet. He's called an Onen. Now, once they, there was a burial and things like that, then it's an Abel. He starts the Avelu at the morning. The difference is, there's a lot of laws that an Onen, mitzvot, that he cannot do. Because he's busy with one of his closest relatives that passed away. And one of those laws is, if you're a Kohen, you couldn't do the Avodah. You couldn't give a korban. You couldn't, you couldn't do it because the mind, we want you to be focused and when scared, you might not be focused. However, this Aliyah teaches us there was an exception to this rule. Now you have to understand, Nadav and passed away. el and Tamar were their brothers. And even though they were Onanim, the brothers el and Tamar, they were still allowed to continue bringing the korbanot to Hashem. Yes, this is a very big hadush. They were able to continue doing it. It's a, it's a, it's a continue, you're allowed to continue. Now, Kohen Gadol doesn't, doesn't, doesn't need this rule because Kohen Gadol is allowed to. But the, the, the Kohanim of Nadav and Aviyu, of course, Aaron was allowed to. He was Kohen Gadol. Kohen Gadol that. But Aviyu, even so, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, you know what? Go ahead and do it. And this was, again, an exception to the rule. The day was a great day. The, 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 the inauguration of uh, of the of the Mishkan. That was the extra heted that was given to El Azanitamar.